everybody. This is Pastor Rick Eisenlord with Good Shepherd Church Pasadena and the Filipino Children's Education Initiative. And welcome, welcome to my very special YouTube message for today. I'm coming to you today from the beautiful campus of Caltech in Pasadena, California. And as you may notice, I am wearing my mask, as I hope all of you are doing. I noticed in today's news that the United States has passed 5 million confirmed cases of this coronavirus disease. And so please, people, uh, let us remember those in our population that are more vulnerable to this disease because of uh, underlying medical conditions or poor health uh, care. Uh, wear your mask to not only protect you, but to protect those who are most vulnerable uh, in our population. So it is so important. Again, this, this pandemic is not over. And my message has always been and will continue to be to please wear your mask. Be considerate of those who are around you. Uh, be a hero. Wear your mask and show that you love your neighbors as you love yourself. Uh, my message for today uh, is using a very familiar parable. It's the, the parable of the mustard seed. I'm sure many of you who have grown up in the church may know this parable, but uh, I think it's a very special parable that has a lot of meaning to it and a lot of power to it. So let's take a look at the, the parable of the mustard seed. Now, I don't know if you know what a mustard seed is. I, I don't use mustard seeds in cooking. Um, and one of the, the amazing and beautiful things about Jesus Christ is he used common things that people uh, would use in their cooking or in their farming or just being out. He used common examples in, in everyday life to make a religious and, and make a point about faith and about religion and, and what to believe. And so the parable of the mustard seed was used by Jesus Christ. And we read about it in the Gospel of Matthew. In fact, in the Gospel of Matthew, there are two, not just one, but two references to that little mustard seed. And remember, a mustard seed is just a little tiny, tiny, tiny seed. It's smaller than, than the tip of my little finger. And so Jesus used this little tiny seed to make a point. And uh, apparently it must have been one of his favorite analogies to make because he used it not once, but at least twice uh, that we have a record of. And so let me share with you these two instances of the parable of the mustard seed. Uh, we read in the 17th chapter of Matthew. Uh, beginning at the 14th verse. Uh, Jesus uh, was in a crowd of people. Obviously, he was teaching. And uh, the crowds came to Jesus not only to hear his message, but to be healed by him. And we read in this passage a little bit of tension with Jesus about this constant pressure that people put on him, to be near him, to touch him, to have them heal themselves or they'll come to him and say Jesus heal my son or heal my daughter or heal me it was almost like Jesus was this giant ATM healing machine that people just went to just to get something from him to get something out of Jesus and Jesus wanted to make another point that his ministry was so much more than 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 healing healing these diseases so we read in the 17th chapter of Matthew, the 14th verse, this analogy that Jesus makes to the mustard seed and to faith. And this is how it goes. When they came to the crowd, a man approached Jesus and knelt before him. Lord, have mercy on my son, he said. He has seizures and is suffering greatly. He often falls into the fire or into the water. I brought him to your disciples, but they could not heal him. You unbelieving and perverse generation, Jesus replied, how long shall I stay with you? 
How long shall I put up with you? Bring the boy here to me. Jesus rebuked the demon, and it came out of the boy, and he was healed at that moment. Then the disciples came to Jesus in private and asked, Why couldn't we drive it out? He replied, Because you have so little faith. Truly, I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Amen. So we read in this passage, uh, this is the situation. We have this crowd of people and this man comes up to Jesus Christ and kneels before him and says, please, I, my son is sick. He, he has these seizures. I went to your disciples. They couldn't help him. Now I'm coming to you. Can you please heal my son? And we, we hear where Jesus gets a little bit testy because uh, he says to his disciples, you unbelieving and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? You know, I think, you know, he felt that people just wanted to get stuff from him, to get healing from him. Like I said, he became this big ATM healing machine in the sky. But that wasn't what his ministry was about. That wasn't what his message was about. His message was not about what Jesus could do for us, but what we, but what we can do for each other. And that's where he talks about the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of heaven being here. But he also says, if you have faith, if you have faith, you can do anything. And that's so important as we face the challenges in our life. Uh, we get scared, we get doubtful, we doubt ourselves. Sometimes our own worst enemies are ourselves. Um, and Jesus tells us there is so much more to the, the superficial things that we have. If we have that faith, that faith that God is with us, that faith that Jesus Christ will lead us in the right direction, we can move mountains. And now the second, uh, the second incidence of the parable of the mustard seed occurs also in the Gospel of Matthew, and it's in the 13th verse. And I think this adds some real meat and some real significance to the parable of the, the mustard seed. Because Jesus Christ not only talks about, the, about personal faith, but he talks about the kingdom of heaven. Now, what is this kingdom of heaven? Is it, is it something that, that is, you know, we think of heaven, we look up, you know? We, we, we think of something up, up away from us or something other from us. But Jesus Christ's message was, he said, behold, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It's, the kingdom of heaven just isn't some, some thing that's up in the, in the sky. Uh, but rather, he said, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It is here now. Not something we wait for when we die and we go to heaven, but the kingdom of heaven starts now. And we read in the 13th chapter of the Gospel of St. Matthew, beginning at the 31st verse, and we read this, this, and this parable of the mustard seed. And this is how it goes. Another parable he put forth to them, saying, the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his field, which indeed is the least of all the seeds. But when it is grown, it is greater than the herbs and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and nest in its branches. Amen. So he takes as an example the least of all the seeds uh, in creation, the poor, lonely mustard seed. And that poor, lonely mustard seed, once it is planted in the ground, grows to become a large, it's like a very large bush or a small tree. And the significance of this tree is that it offers sanctuary to the birds. It says, which a man took and sowed in his field, which indeed is the least of all the seeds. But when it is grown, it is greater than the herbs and becomes a tree so that the birds of the air come and nest in its branches. 
The kingdom of heaven is about us growing in our faith. The kingdom of heaven is here where we take care of one another. That's the message of Jesus Christ. It's not that he can heal all sorts of, of infirmities and sickness, but it's what we do with our faith as it grows in our hearts and our souls that we care for one another. That was the message of Jesus Christ and that was the point of his teaching that we not only care about ourselves but we care about one another. That our faith becomes so large that we take care of other people. That, that like the mustard seed our faith starts out small and I know some of us are are worried that we don't have any faith at all but trust me you do deep down you do and that faith can grow it can grow with Jesus Christ and you become a mature Christian and you we care for one another we take care of one another that's in need we wear our masks uh, not to protect just ourselves from this COVID-19 disease but we wear our masks to take care of other people like that little small mustard seed that grows into a, a tree so that the birds can come and take refuge from the predators and, and nest and, and, and enjoy their life. And so that's, that's God's message to us. That's the message of Jesus Christ to us, that our faith matures, that our faith grows, and that we're not concerned just about what goes on in our life, but we are concerned about those who are the most vulnerable. I, I think of the parable of the Good Samaritan as an example of, of this kingdom of heaven on earth. As the Good Samaritan took care of that poor man that was on the side of the road that had been beaten and been left for dead. And the Good Samaritan took that man and brought him and, to an inn and took care of him and made sure that he was okay. That that, ladies and gentlemen, is the kingdom of heaven at work. That's the message of Jesus Christ, that we take care of one another, that we look after one another, that we're not selfish and entitled, uh, that it's all about me, 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 me. It's not. Jesus' message was that we are here for each other. Just as that mustard tree uh, grew up with its branches to take in the birds of the air so our faith grows so that we can take care of those people around us and that's how Jesus acts in our lives through us to reach other people he touches other people through us that that through us he can heal other people through us he brings the message of hope and joy and salvation and forgiveness the kingdom of heaven is not something that's just beyond us the announcement of Jesus Christ is that the kingdom of heaven is here on this earth and like that little mustard seed uh, we grow in our faith we grow and we blossom and we we turn from not only what affects us but we turn to our neighbor to our brother, our sister, those who are hurting. Even people we don't know, we, we are commanded to take care of. I mean, in the, the parable of the Good Samaritan, he didn't know this gentleman that was on the side of the road. He was a complete stranger, and yet he took care of that man. And that's the message of the kingdom of heaven, is that heaven is not just some otherworldly thing that we go to after we die. The kingdom of heaven starts here and now. The kingdom of heaven starts with you and me. The kingdom of heaven is like that little seed that it grows in our heart. It grows in our soul. It grows to bear fruit and it grows to, to provide shelter and comfort for those who are less fortunate. So that's the message of the parable of the mustard seed. Um, as our faith starts out small, and I, I know that we have, I have people who come to me and say, Pastor, um, my faith is just not very strong. Uh, I, I feel very weak in my faith. I've 
done bad things in my life. I continue to screw up. Things are a mess. But that's okay. God takes you where you are. He, the mess and everything else. He takes you where you are and he plants that seed of faith in your heart. He plants that seed of faith in your soul so that it will grow and mature and bear fruit. He doesn't ask us to be perfect. You know, we can't be perfect. But he does ask us to be his disciples. He does ask us to look out for those who are less fortunate, the widow, the, those who are hurt, those who are sick, those who are imprisoned, those who have less uh, in life that, that they're barely able to survive. That's our mission as children of God. That's our mission as his disciples, that we take that little seed of faith, even though you think you don't have much faith, you do, and let it grow. Let it grow and mature, and let us take care of one another, and that is the fruit of our faith, the fruit of that little mustard seed of faith that we all have. Amen. Now, folks, I want you to have a great week. Uh, be awesome. Be courageous. Be strong. I know this is a difficult time for many of us um, with this COVID disease, and I think it's even more important now that we take care of one another uh, with this facing this disease. We need to get out of this idea of me, 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 and know that uh, the message of Jesus Christ is that we are to take care of one another. Amen. Now go have that awesome week. Be strong, be courageous, be safe. Don't do anything stupid. And know that God loves you very, very much. Now may the Lord God bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you peace. And may he protect you and your family from this COVID-19 disease and keep you safe from all harm. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now go have that awesome week. Amen.